Okay, simple overview <coughs> of uh, current uh, play session. Uh, let's see. So, uh, this is on uh, the easiest level of uh, the last uh, Stronghold campaign mode. Um, it's my very first, so I'm using uh, 127. Um, there are some additional things that I want to add, but um, I'm, uh, I'm playing on uh, D uh, N minus 20. So I took away 20 cards, and we are at uh, the last uh, stages. So as you can see, it's not uh, not uh, that uh, trivial. Uh, this location is destroyed, and. Shadow Moor is also destroyed, um, which makes uh, E, C, and B adjacent. No, that's uh, that's a good thing. This has one corruption. This has two corruptions. Let's see if we can make some light. Uh, four corruptions. So this is on the brink of. Uh, on the brink of destruction. Uh, we just defeated uh, a warlord, uh, which was on uh, location E, and uh, the catapult. Uh, I managed to, to, to destroy it because it was a catapult with a shield, and I rolled a shield. Um, so next up. Uh, this is the end of the round, you check for triggers, etc. Uh, is Death's Bane, that's the very first uh, uh, boss that you have to uh, def defeat to, uh, to complete a tier of uh, playing against Death's Bane, then uh, win a game against Draxis, win a game against Alderaal, and win a game against the Steam Giant. Um, if you have the Kickstarter uh, stretch goals, otherwise you have only three bosses. So uh, this second form of Death Spain is um, it doesn't have a location, but it has a, it has a the castle symbol, uh, and it is um, monster form two. That's what. Uh, uh, card says uh, we cannot use wilds and we can destroy we're going to destroy Lux and uh, I, uh, so uh, going to Lux you can move and attack and you can attack and move um, but you can also attack and move and attack and you can also spin spent uh, a foot to move a second time um, but the first move is just free so you roll now uh, no wilds so this was a uh, bummer okay uh, so uh, this is a wild so I'm have going to have to re-roll that yeah you have a, a single re-roll uh, of uh, two dice, um, so we can do this and this. And now, in, instead of uh, uh, say that I, I, I rolled badly, uh, you can also before before you enter the fight. Uh, so you roll the uh, uh, you roll the dice that starts the attack phase, but um, um, you, if we had done this this before, because um, you cannot trade with the merchant uh, during a fight, but say that uh, I wanted to, to make sure that uh, the drugs is uh, before I roll, say. Uh, if I wanted to make sure that drugs is uh, oh that that Spain is uh, is defeated. Uh, I could buy from the merchant uh, a shield token and a foot token, for example, uh, for four gold. And 
I have to forego, so uh, I can use that. Um, so gold is very important uh, before you roll. Uh, but now we can uh, cover these two, and it's a, a good practice to um, to separate your spent dice from your unspent dice by placing them on the cards. So we need to make from this um, and also officially you place a timer and if the timer runs uh, at uh, zero uh, Lux is destroyed and you lose the game and we can roll for free and we roll crap again let's see uh, we have a scroll of chain lightning so we can reroll three dice but we have to exhaust the hero or we can exhaust uh, Lyrae um, exhausting is uh, to flip it and then it becomes damaged so exhaust is there is also the state exhaust but uh, that's just for confusion uh, okay discarding this and yes okay finally we roll the shield and this uh, immediately wins us the game uh, because uh, any enemies uh, still on the board flee in terror uh, now uh, after winning the game you simply take out your book and write down with a pen that this bane is a win and now uh, after several weeks uh, later I can I can write an, the new date and I immediately see what the next uh, uh, monster um, boss will be and this difficulty setting is uh, um, is maintained so um, I think this is a perfect uh, a perfect game uh, this way um, it, it took a lot a lot of time and several versions um, to rewrite the rules um, because the setup can be made much more efficiently um, playing with two players uh, I don't do that. Uh, the turn overview is uh, is uh, unchanged. So you check for catapults, place an enemy, resolve enemy abilities, text and icons. And you can do the attack and move. Uh, and then you check for timers, and then you repeat until vic victory conditions uh, trigger. This is not really uh, a step, but uh, I just uh, put it there. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a very uh, uh, how do you say a replayable game because uh, um, if you remove 20 monsters from a deck of 45, um, every time the, you will have totally different uh, uh, combination. Um, so it all depends on if you shuffle well and um, yeah, uh, it's 25 minutes. I think that is a bit uh, on the short side uh, uh, it takes me a little longer uh, so yeah I, I defeated uh, Warlord and before that uh, Golem the Hobgoblin this icon uh, discards any treasure tokens so you have space for three treasure tokens here and you uh, you start the game with uh, one treasure token on each. You have ten treasure tokens in total. They're never destroyed, but always discarded. Uh, and a horde that triggered another enemy. A vampire that immediately exhausts the hero and uh, uh, adds corruption. Uh, a shaman. Uh, I forgot to take the shaman card. That's that would be would have been such a maybe a, no I for, 
look at it. Uh, so it would have been placed on D. Um, but D is destroyed. And that will uh, place an enemy on a destroyed. Let's see. Uh, if the location is destroyed, add the corruption to Lux. Uh, that was not in the original game. Um, but I think why not use that as a resource? Uh, it gives a little bit more richness to the game. And yeah, so one corruption to Lux. Um, Yeah, so then you remove the, the, the enemy card. Um, if Lux has as many corruption on Lux as the number of red dotted spaces, uh, so like so, then um, you add a fire token. So you have some. Uh, you have some leniency uh, in the game. Maybe I just. I'll just say that. Um, it uh, wants to travel, so it will travel here. Uh, that would be even worse uh, <laughs> because it would destroy me. Uh, so it would destroy E, and uh, if you destroy, then it, it gets uh, discarded. Um, but nevertheless, uh, it's a good indication. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things to. Uh, to take into consideration for such a small uh, game. Um, um, the only thing I had trouble with uh, uh, wording was that you can uh, attack, move, and then move again, and then attack again uh, with any unspent dice. But, uh, well, I hope you liked the overview. Bye.